Number two, the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom. Okay, so neutral atom. We are also removing an electron, right? So that's the opposite verb. We saw number one. So it's not electron affinity. What's the opposite of electron affinity? Ionization energy. The energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom is the atoms. But wait a minute. I don't see. I don't see ionization energy in any of these options here. So what do I put? Well, it must not be wanting me to just identify ionization energy, but it, the question must be wanting me to apply the definition. So the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom is the atoms. Electron affinity? No, nope. we just identified that it's the opposite of electron affinity. Electron energy? That's close to something we've talked about, but definitely not a term we have ever introduced. We have talked about electronegativity, but that is the ability of, uh, of an atom to attract an electron. So that's not it. And so we're left for or left with D. By knowing what some of these other terms are and the definition of the term uh, that we're dealing with, we can actually remove potential responses here. Now, I wouldn't expect you guys to look at the wording of this question and be like, oh, it's obviously D. But what I would expect you to do is eliminate electron affinity, elect, uh, remove electronegativity, and be left with a 50-50 choice. I would expect you to have a 50-50 choice between electron energy and neither absorbed nor released. Now, in terms of understanding what this question is actually telling us, is that we are charging, we're adding energy to the uh, not the system in general, but just to excite that one electron to the point that it actually leaves the habitation of that particular that particular element. 